score. Good, intelligent ball to Anthony Cross. Holds it up, or holds it up just sufficiently long to bring Ryan into it. They're setting one up for English to score. We all knew the context of why Nicky left, like it was because he was only on as a sub and like, he was just kind of saying, look, you could have hit that over yourself. It was an awful humiliating and it seemed as though that just we'd never be able to compete. John Lahey, so brilliant in the first half and he's got another point. They're going for the double, they've got the hurling. On Tranona Shinile, Vise Iminton, Dolores. Argus Pero good waiting a yen of a condil to Sava Antamach, a son, 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 we were on a tidal wave at that stage. Uh, you know, there was fantastic hype throughout the county. Claire Edge within a point of the All Ireland champions. That's it down for the goalkeeper. It's a goal! It's a goal by Emma Trapp! And Claire are just about to win. They've won! And Kalura Vian today's crazy hair in the book and Lancer Fagan Geary Galair. You know, obviously, we should take a stop at Corlish, Mar. We say till the guy in him already. We say till the guy either in Lockle and Nuna. I guess neither has to be called. The Clare side right now. The talk really is just about getting their hands on the cup once again. Near Chas Tibradar and you guys come down Clare to the Chile Dish to Chreve. Could you cliffy can the moon? We dig no echo shaft. You guys near a jam with the antenna in the Clare Dini. It ain't in Ada V for Jacob. You know you're chilly. I remember thinking that, you know, when Tip were due to come out, that, you know, there was no way they'd get the same reception we did, and Tip arrived out onto the pitch, and the stadium nearly shook. We'd all say it was nearly the most atmospheric game we were involved in. Looking back over the years, it was the day that, you know, people came to prove a point to Tip. Clare's side now very much back at the helm. Sean Cowan got on with a final place. Valley me a goleer like hella. Dor me sha an la is tarti. Dar e vriev is tar iman an tar. Alles kai shiv ba stal no an tli he shal vuchet. We started with a whirlwind, like we started with a new cockiness, like that that Claire maybe had, like that we were going show on this crowd, we were here to stay. Michael Ryan came off the legs there of Stephen McNamara, runs on here for Fergie Tui to hit. McNamara's after it! And Kate no maid, Satarle, Diary Gahuntakle to Bradarn, Agastresh de no maid, be their co score. It looked to be curtains, and uh, none of us will ever forget leaving them on ringing in our ears. Picked off here by Conor Gleeson, the Tipperary captain, in towards Kevin Tucker, looking for another point, no doubt. Encouraged by the first, he's got a second! And John seems to be saying to his teams, come on, we can still do it. I think we all realised it was make or break time, and it was time for us to stand and deliver. This to the new man in. Tell you much about David Ford's goal because it whizzed by me here at 100 miles an hour. And have they got a crisis on their hands? We make fun of this and fed out there and make fun of it, make fun of it. Tipper it on, they chalk, they call brewing. We saw our chance to green it. I can know my turn, you know, the honey gets green them, come on. It's better than me, I call for us. And they're all the top dressing and cool. Quick John Lahey. Ryan curling it in delightfully. In towards Cahill once more. Cross to John Lahey. Oh, he didn't connect as he would have wished. And there was a goal chance there. And he's missed it. If I'd hit that well, I do believe that I would have went into the net. But I didn't connect on it and the ball was cleared up the field. All eyes on the referee to see just how much time he's left. And it's over. And Clare are the Munster champions once again. In a tight, tense battle to beat Tip in the Munster final was, was, was huge. Like, no, beyond our wildest dreams. Anthony Daly accepts the Munster Cup and Clare are Munster champions once again. Our mission was to show that we're no longer the whipping boys of Munster.
I wasn't making any reference to Tipperary. I genuinely felt I was I was saying we were making a statement that day that we weren't going to be shoved around the Munster anymore. To have beaten Wexford and then know the prize was to get another shot at Clare was obviously something that was a motivating factor for us. Dort me lesh nehim rori na me kui na gojo ori mana muhamish and dara kreb nehering agus gohara he mana muhamish et tipradan. The huge roar from the crowd. I think Lagnan described it afterwards as epic hurling. We didn't play particularly well in the first half. You know, Declan Ryan and John Lackey in particular, I think Tommy Dunn, you know, hurled really well for Tip, and they were great players. And racing away here is John Lackey. Should be an easy score for the taking, and it is. Great catch by Declan Ryan. Wonderful distribution out to Lackey. The old firm are at it again. Familiar stride, trying to go around the defence here, hitting his shot and putting it over the bar. A couple of things went on in that game that, you know, it was nick and tuck, I think, throughout, and, you know, but either team, I think, could have won it. Um, you know, we got a point, I suppose, that was disallowed, or we didn't get a point that, you know, people say Declan Ryan took a shot. Some say it was a, it was a score, it wasn't given. From this angle here, it looked to be just inside the right-hand post. Who am I going to start to show my face? I left home. I was stuck in the house and I was home and I was in the house. I wrote the door to Brian Lohan and Lashin. I was in the house and I was in the house. I was in the house and I was in the house and I was in the house. In I got him roar of Igamat. I was hooked or do dive and Kate Keller scored a lie. Colin Lynch. And it goes towards Clancy. The man on the 40 looking for another point. Start of the second half. Claire has made a wonderful start to the half. Good vision to pick out Colin Lynch. 45 meters out. Should be another one. And that's got over the bar. A Hernoi to Berdaran to Berdaran, the gentleman at Jernach for Liam Cahill Cool, uh, for Eugene O'Neill Cool. John Lahey looking for his second score of the second half. In it goes to Scotland, and he's kicked it in! There is a goal in this match. He drives it in, and he drives it, and it's stopped in there. And it's in the back of the net! A real body blow now for the Banner men. There's Baker looking for the puck out after a killer second blow. He had to put tip a pint ahead. Baker had to puck out, cut, and put over the bar to level the match before the cameras could catch it, and never caught it. Colin won a good ball, and... I was screaming for the pass on the on the Hogan stand side of the field. I suppose I was on my own in space. Um, Favourite side, um, free shot on goal. There was still time, um, and you're not thinking about anything else other than you know the next ball. Here was I at the end of another um, another opportunity to you know I suppose to to, to turn it in Tip's favour. My life passed before me when I saw the ball in Lahey's hand. I said, he's, he's going to do us now. Here's Lahey at the other end. It's stopped. It's saved. It's a great save. Chance for Tipperary to go back in front again. A pint was never on my mind because a lot of people at the time said I should have taken my pint, but it never registered with me. The shin, the make sense. It didn't have Tipperary to go from Corner Esch, could he, could he and Clare. are the Ireland champions once again. The final whistle going was a, there was a real sense of elation and, and satisfaction that you know we'd, we'd achieved our goal and we'd accomplished what we set out to do. Anthony Daly takes back the Liam McCarthy Cup. Clare are the champions, champions of Ireland once again. What a magnificent day for them! Cliffilia, Janis Namun, Lee Digny, Honey, Cassiwiri, Haley, Lee Stead, so grieve. A couple of me, Rivishin, Ruth Hibridor, and Yeraglor, Cliffilia, Janis Nasraha, Le Ain, Holy Nuan. Be Tiger's taller and fire the gancha. Take out myself and Declan. You know, there's a lot of lads were, were were younger lads coming, and so there was a different, I suppose, a different swing in in in, um, in mentality going to that game. A bit of cleverness here by Barry Murphy. And a fair more uh, few one Brian Lohan and Larsen. We are now out to their shellier. I guess Shani near the shagim and near the any game at the At the other end. John Lahey hitting his shot. Good score by John Lahey. Diagonal ball inside towards Liam Cahill, 45 metres out, and a wonderful shot, and that's over the bar. I think, again, maybe our experience and maybe tips and experience in certain sectors, uh, you know, enable us maybe to hang in there. Out to Niall Gilligan. Gilligan has support over there. That's James O'Connor. James O'Connor! James O'Connor gets the goal for Clare. Hug, 
Kunda Claude is the only Connor Clancy. Gilligan with a late chance inside towards Clancy. Can he go by Heaney? It's Clancy. It's still Clancy. And he's pulled and dragged, and it's a penalty. A penalty for Clare. This could be the moment when they save their crown. I couldn't believe when Dickie Murphy at the time just said it was a penalty, but to be fair to him, he used all his experience. He got into the danger zone, and we fouled him. As George Friend has just come in, and who's going to take the penalty? Then I remember um, looking through the crowd and seeing David Fitzgerald making his way up. Fergal Heaney on the goal line, Brendan Cummins on the goal line, Liam Sheedy, we're in injury time. If this goes in, I think it's going to be a replay. Listen, the, the game was on the line, he had to score, we were out of the championship. David Fitzgerald aware of what he has to do. David Fitzgerald has scored! In the 71st minute, how much time is left? It's all over! Tim thought they had done enough. I remember thinking that was probably one of the lowest points, I'd say, because the whole of the tip team gave everything we had, yet Clare used their experience. Which we were absolutely poxed to come out of there with a draw the first day. All ends up, they should have beaten us, really. David Kennedy is Pato, as I said, is the come. I think it's next Saturday, is it? I don't know, it's next week. It's, it's <laughs> we, we finish it today. I know. <laughs> We were psychologically probably heading in a, in a better position heading into the replay than, than they were. We knew what they did to us the first day, and there was no way we were going to allow that to happen in the replay. The Glyphil Yak and the Snamon and the Jagnoikonai, Fiech and Tepperdar and Yugus of Clara, Ho Score, the way of Shin go for Kairike, Egunglar, Egfir, Yedan Emmerfa, and Saharan Dargian, Hodder Han Kairish, the Barki Hive. Dorme law and rod the doors to Avi Niki Teresa Ra le le Nehimroi Tibadan. Dorse law, Tiamak, Agus Marig, Nehenva, Gortesin. Imagine that. Near Richter, Vrishter, a mark and others. And the match gets underway. Back it comes once again to Anthony Daly, the team captain, and that's over the bar. There's a chance for Claire. And it comes, and it's a goal! We don't have to say fair, and we don't have to say that we're going to win. We're going to win. Shoulder by Conor Gleeson, gets it out there towards Ollie Baker. Baker going for the score, and Baker has put it over the bar. I think we were still stuck in, oh God, we lost the last game. While Clare were thinking, this is a big opportunity, and you could see it on the day that they came in like tigers, like they normally do. We weren't up for the fight, unfortunately. Contained here by Colin Lynch. Towards James O'Connor, stepping away from the challenge of Fanny. Going to Brown, and he's got a free on the 45 metre line. And James O'Connor, because of the hand injury, has gone off the Clare side. James was going to be their biggest threat. And his misfortune, I suppose, on the day meant that we might have a better chance of, of winning the game. And that's probably the way it turned out. You know, Clare really galvanised when James went off. But then a shakas law be ella. But then a law, Colin Lynch. A good one across here to Colin Lynch instead. And this finishes what a wonderful point. Clare at their very best. Dean Fair, Duchretti. Scorlache, Hirchulin, on Immert, Bisha Duchretti, her fad, Bikunda Claude, her bar, near a tip on Lodge. And it's all over, and Clare have won handsomely at Porky Queen. It all happened the right way for Clare with the tide of emotion they'd have had, Nicky being in charge of the team, and, and once they got their leg in, they were never going to let it go. Ah, the touch is to go! That's a point there! I'm going to go to the right side of the road, and I'm going to go to the right side of the road. I'm going to go to the right side of the road. Glenn and Davila, Cliffy and Hanish Namon, we are Tipper Darin, Tanish Dina Sraha, Agus V. Portlari, who points us a free backup, be the Reti Higama, Agus Didiche, Honbua. We want to be the ones to form the break up of that team. <laughs> That's the motivation in fact, that we had, you know, that if we could only beat him once, and I know talking to a lot of Tipperary supporters that they were kind of fed up of, of this clear uh, dominance, of, particularly over Tipperary. 
And, uh, you know, it was time for us to, I suppose, tip up to the mark. This game will tell us a lot. Inside towards Eugene O'Neill. That's an early switch by Tipperelli. And that is an early point. Lively strike to the match. Paul Orman needing a replacement stick straight away. Declan Ryan was the, was the main person why we were, why Tipperary were winning matches. He brought everybody into the game, and on that day in particular as well, Declan was the key. Oh, Tommy Dunn. That's a great ball. Declan Ryan, plenty of space. Turning around McMahon, going this way and that. Yeah, that day was probably one of Probably would say one one of my finer performances. I say particularly against um, against Clio. I think the balance was got right in 2000. Here's Declan Ryan. They're looking serious trouble here. Their freshness, their lack of freshness, is certainly telling. Ah, Dinandina Dermot, Gorhal Allen Markham, August David Ford, Fuiro. Will Markham and Pusta, Fuiro v David Ford, Seed, August Yeta Chakul Vega, Achidin Le, Baronidin, Tiberdarin, August Dina Ra, August the Kud, and Fosh Gibosh, Edwinter Hunde Claude. And you wouldn't bet against Claire, I'm sure that man's saying, we can do it still. Looks a point every time. It's a point, Tipperary. Monster hurling final, and that has now been confirmed. I can remember the end of that match. It was a, a huge, I suppose, relief, you know, to, a monkey off our back, basically, to, to have overcome this clear team. I'm going to wait for one, but it's surely well and truly worth it today. One, nine. Never mean Kane Arguin. I'll just say, we are going to be in the We are in the way. 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 We Con the Chedro no Idegna Hatri, Vimpua, Ek Tiprodar, and Yerna Claudi in Isakrayev. A Hall Yotor Glyphic Canish Namon and I Horka, Ugus in the Yashin, in Nina Galeva, a Glyphic Caru Canish Namon. Agus Fairbairn of Takiata, Agus Eroli in the Galeva, the Russian Pokemon. The players are ready, the officials are ready, the fans are most definitely ready. On the Vlian Dargian, Raw Vilg Zahian, Glyphil Yashanish Namon at East. Grona Tipro de Eraglar, a glyphic canish, Nasrahanis, Lohan Vlenshin, Achvi Farno, where is Stu Regan Glar, Sierra Lions. There was a freshness uh, around the place, and um, we were very pumped up for the game. Like, um, I remember going down the bus saying, We're going to win this. We had that drive behind us going into 2001 to say, Look, we're not going to let this slip. Tip and Clare below in Cork, below in the cauldron for all the world with a full house, was going to be where do you won or lost your season. The atmosphere down there was, I think, was electric, you know. That was uh, one of the, I suppose, one game from an atmosphere point of view that would stood out, stood out in Munster Championship for me throughout my, my career. Beijing counted a bear, a vee bear. And I was the first time on the last one, I was with Queen Lumgar, Baptism of Fire, uh, for Owen Kelly. Uh, rushing across that one there. And the shoulder is by Baker and the tip fans would feel they might have had a freedom. And I knew from there then, even when he talked about now the ghost papers are going to the back of my neck, but when a young flick can do that, it inspired all the rest around the team and it just spread like wildfire. And we hurled absolutely out of our skins that day after that. Owen Kelly fumbles somewhat. Mark O'Leary trying to step in. There's Eddie Enright, and he'll feel an awful lot better after that one. Never very much between these teams. Packed terraces here. John Lahey is about to come into the match. I won't forget, you know, the build-up ever in my life with going on with the reception I got from the Tipperary Point view and the Tipperary crowd, like, it was, it was, it was absolutely brilliant. And then, of course, like Johnny says himself afterwards, the roar from the Clare supporters was twice as big as he was being hauled off. So within a minute of being in the game, John Lahey comes down really, really awkwardly, and he is going to have to go. It just gave us that fillet, I suppose, that we, that we needed, you know, that caught Johnny's on. And, and when even when he went off, we still had the buzz, I suppose, of the fact that, that Lahey was after coming in, you know. Coming across here, delivering the hand pass outside there to Paul Kelly. And that, that's it, it's over the bar. 
that was the one day, you know, we really should have won that match and I, I just feel aggrieved at that one. Dickie was refereeing it and Dickie was my favourite ref and will go down as my favourite ref. But I think Dickie got three or four calls wrong in the second half. Too many, it's a too many steps been taken. The referee says play away. The referee decided he didn't like the nature of the shoulder. And it's a free to Tipperary. He's massive force. The H and Yadog, Dirich, Nerdvi, Davy Fitzgerald, a tog al bulle, a John Fool. Can Clare draw level? Will Tip keep their noses ahead? Another gripping occasion at Porky Crease for the second week in a row. Davy Fitzgerald firing it down the final whistle. It's all over. And Tipperary. It went down to the wire against Tipperary, I think 15 points to 14 on the day. And if you said to me after that game that we'd hold that, that Tipperary team to 15 points, um, I'd have said that, listen, our backs have done enough, we, we'd have won the game. And as it turned out, we came out the, the wrong side of a one point defeat. And as I said, it was devastating. Tip will be absolutely delighted leaving Cork and Nicky English in particular, their manager, has done it for them. We played the Brother Tackle. Brother Cliffy Canish the Moon and I leave me. Monster champions for 2001. But this is not the guy you will glyph with Canish and Hayden. Gun Hedor led Jem Leona, Rochador La Hope, Colin Vicari. Unbelievable. We're just, I can't feel anything here at the moment. I'm just so happy for the lads, for the supporters, and for everybody concerned. It's unbelievable. I think the guys had built an inner strength that year to, um, to win All Ireland. Be sauce. Sauce to fill it, he messed in the tibridy. Is Kunte Tibridarden being craven here, Nick Tastal, Quisak Mini, Con Spraga, Hortus, Nadini, Oga, Lenund, Araig, Egimert, Nahamaniak? It was great. I was lucky I got the last puck of the ball and uh, I looked out at Pat O'Connor was reffing it and I looked at him like to see, like, and I just knew he was going to blow the full time whistle. So I took a second, had a good look around before I poked it out. I said, look, this is the last puck, not Iron Fine, they're going to win, you know, and it was just, it was, it was a brilliant feeling, you know. And as I say, because I was the last shot of it, I got to take a deep breath in and have a little look before I hit it out, and it was just, it was amazing. <laughs> Ach rhyn ti reifsi sy'n daid ilis yn da oedd yn creif na heir yn o grofint, rydw hwg yn leirgwys er cech o magus y fydr. Ni an eintas e, gyrra an hlyffi eto'r